This is the book of Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 27. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak Radash, double honor to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak Radash, Brak Dum, to use a Wa'akim wa'akwaf, you know you elders, you brothers, you sisters, the hopeful elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence, make your calling and election sure, and of course, keeping faith in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, in these last days, and these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Shai, Ban Yasha Allah, and this will be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, on Salakia, the wicked elites are in checkmate, right? Power. So this is kind of like a part three lesson. And it's like if any noise in the background, I'm outside. You know what I'm saying? Doing a quick one before camp. You know, so uh, it's kind of like a part three lesson because I did a lesson um, a couple days back going into the ruined class elites and their inevitable, inevitable defeat, as well as us in the last night, you know, going into um, the mission has been revealed, the great awakening, right? So it's like basically Esau, Edom, the elites, they have no control of what's, over what's happening. You see, they have no control. There's nothing they could do. You know, um, to stop prophecy, to stop these, um, the, prophets, the prophets from pushing this word, you know. So the only thing they can try to do now is try to set traps for us. You see, that set snares for us, which they do that through the, through they want, you know, the media. You see, trying to make the, they're going to try to make the world believe that we're some terrorist group. Trying to make the world believe that we're, you know, um, black nationalists or these evil people, which that's, that's already written. So we know Esau's playbook and there's nothing he could do about it. So that's why he's terrified that the, um, that the truth is spreading. You know, so in this lesson, we're going to the power because he's gradually, you know, demonizing us so he could justify coming down great wrath. But as it's written, let's get that next. I mean, this is going to be something, you know, something quick, straight to the point. Right? It says Isaiah 59 and verse 19, and it reads, <clears throat> So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the West. And it's glory from the rise under the sun, which that's the east. So all over the world, man, they're going to fear Yahweh by Shem Shai. Right? Because the prophets are going to glorify those names. The true prophets. It says, when the enemy, who's our enemy? Esau, Edom, the elites. Because they, they're the ones that, you know, basically they're the whipping stick, whipping stick of the most high. Yahweh by Shem Shai is going to um, control of them. Right? But let's say, like, they may start to send people at us and all of that. You see? They're going to come in like a flood, man. Try to grab us up. It says, when enemies shall come in like a flood, the spirit, right? The Ha of Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, shall lift up a standard against them. The word standard, it goes to what? It goes to power. It goes to, to, uh, to put the flight, to escape, to fly on horseback, you know? To vanish, disappear, which is what? Spiritual powers. So that power is coming very soon. Esau knows it as well. You know, he knows that power is going to come, man, because it's raining in the scripts. Right, and then the spirit, the word um, spirit in the Hebrew is racha, which another definition goes to what imparting warlike energy, like when the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon Samson, you know, or the Lord um, gave the apostles to Chakudash, the Holy Spirit, you know, they began to speak in tongues, and they did mighty works, man. So those miracles are coming. So right now we have power on a low level because scriptures say the kingdom of heaven is going to come by way of power. Right, let's get that right quick. Watch this. It's the book. No, 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 Salaki. That's the wrong one. Right here. So this is this is the book of First Corinthians four and verse twenty. For the kingdom of the Most High is not in word but in power. You know. So that power is coming next, man. And Esau Edom, he gonna try to justify coming down great wrath upon us. But that that means what? He's in checkmate. And once he grab us up, what's gonna happen? Power. Some brothers, yeah, some brothers may be martyrs, but they're going to get raised up. So at the end of the day, the elect can get the victory regardless. Esau is in checkmate. The elites are in checkmate. You know, and they know it. So that's why they're trying to, leave. let's read the script, scripture again. Prior 26 and 27. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein. So he's dig he trying to dig a pit for us, but he's going to fall in that same pit. You see? And he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. He rolling that stone, you know, the next you know is going to return upon him and crush his ass, man. Like that, that, that Edomite was saying, that military Edomite was saying, you know, he was going to Project Looking Glass. He was mentioning how, like, you know, there's only a couple possibilities left, man. It's like a, two massive chess players playing chess. And, it, you know, the one of them know that they didn't check me. 
they see they already see the in checkmate so they, they try to choose their move next moves very carefully but it's only delaying the inevitable man at the end of the day so we know iso edom is gonna come down with that wrath when he comes down with that wrath yahal bashim now shy gonna give brothers power man you see the lord will give brothers power we got to believe this man this will happen as a matter of fact the fact that we got this truth this knowledge and this wisdom is already scaring the shit out of Esau, man. The fact that, because it's already prophesied that what? A remnant shall return to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Not every, not every Israelite is going to turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, only a remnant. So once that remnant returns, the elect 144,000 gets sealed, as they're in Revelation 7 chapter, destruction is coming. The end of this man's world is here. You know? Let's read Judith, the fifth chapter. Let's start at verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error against his people, the Israelites, and they sin against their power, we sin against Yahweh by Shem Shai. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. That's why he's known as the accuser of our brethren. Because Esau knows this. He knows that if we sin against Yahweh by Shem Shai, that's our ruin. That's why he promotes nothing but wickedness on his on his, on his earth, man. Especially here, especially here in America, Babylon and Great, he promotes nothing but wickedness and idolatry and adultery and you know lasciviousness, you know? All type of things that's abominable inside of Yahweh by Shem Shai. It said, let us consider that this shall be his ruin, be their ruin, and let us go up, and we shall overcome them. But watch this. But if there be no iniquity, and guess what? The elect, the scripture says, let's get that right quick. Uh, let me just read it instead of um, quoting it. Right? Bear with me, Akim. And like I mentioned earlier, it's like many knows in the background when I'm outside. Right? But this is the book of John 1. No, no, no. That's not what I want. Right here. Revelation 14 and verse 5 It says And in their mouth Was found no guile For they are without fault Before the throne Of the Most High Who's he talking about? The elect man The elect The virgins Right In their mouth Was found no guile And they're without fault Before the throne of the Most High So there's no iniquity Upon the elect All the sins of the elect Is already forgiven And covered Through the blood of Yahweh Shai So back to Judas 5th chapter Verse um, 21 but if there be no iniquity in their nation, which you know the Lord is going to deal with that with a remnant of the nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will defend us, man. You see, Esau is in checkmate. So when he grabs us up, he's touching the apple of the Most High's eye. You know, and that pisses the Most High off, man. And he's going to jack their ass up for what they're trying to do to us, man. Because they're going to wish nothing but harm and death upon us. And when they come in that rap of slander, that's what the devil means. It means um, accuser, or there's no slanderer. You know, false accuser, devil, deceiver. It says, it says, um, but if there be no iniquity in their nation, the elect, there's no, you know, found without fault before the throne of the Most High. Let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them and their power be for them. And we become a reproach before all the world, man. So Esau knows this, man. So he's in what? Checkmate. Because the elect has what? They're without fault before the throne of the Most High. So all their sins of the elect are already forgiven. You see that? So when Esau try to run down with that, you know, that, that demonization and grab brothers up, the Lord give brothers what? Spiritual powers and also what? Divine as invention, angels. You know, so checkmate. Esau's in checkmate, man. He only got a few moves left, but there's nothing he could do to stop these prophecies from popping off, man. You see? So we're getting closer and closer to that time. You know, the script is going to how he's gonna come down with great wrath. He's gonna be like a madman sparing none. But the Lord said he's gonna deliver his elect. You know, the days of trouble's out here, but I will deliver you from the same. So the elect, the victory is already written. Revelation, the fifteenth chapter, it's already written that we got the victory, man. As a matter of fact, let's get that in First Corinthians, and I'm gonna end it off. So you know, I'll do something quick. Lord willing, I could you know do some more lessons when I get home, or if not tomorrow morning, talk through the spirit, you know. First Corinthians, fifteen and verse fifty-eight. Get the, you know, yeah, it says therefore, no, no, no verse fifty-seven. But but thanks be to Yahweh, which gives us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shammashiach. So he gave us the victory already, man. That's why Lord Yahweh Shah said what? Um, that let no man take your crown. You know? Let no man take your crown, man. Endure. Basically endure, man. Don't let no one take your crown. So we got to stay in this truth. Stay involved. Keep pumping out these video lessons. Endure until the light of end. Pray fast. All of that, man. Go out there week in and week out. You know? Fellowship. Because... When Esau come down with that wrath, which you're going to do very soon, I can list examples. You got Frank James. You know, you, you had uh, this other dude that ran his car into a whole Christmas parade. And they said he was a black Hebrew Israelite. They were talking about us back in 2021 that we were becoming more, what, militant, you know? And it's a lot of agents amongst these different camps, you know, that do certain things to get the ministry blamed. 
But all of that is a part of the prophecy, man. It's already written that all of that will happen. So are we afraid? Are we in shock? Are we surprised? No. We know Esau's playbook, man. We know his next move before you make it because we, we're, that, we're playing chess. <laughs> it's chess, man. We on, we're watching. You know, we know he's going to make this move. And when he make that move, we're going to make that move, man. But Osmi is the most high Yahweh Hashem now shot controlling both sides of the chessboard. He controls the whole, he created the game. You see that? So Esau, you're in checkmate, man, because we've already been ordained to win that game. You know? Uh, let's read on down. It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and movable, always abound in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So the works that we do through the faith that we have is not in vain. So the Logan will reward us for the faith and works that we have, you know, that we shoot toward his name. So we must endure, man. You know, power is coming from on high. You know, you, you got to really meditate and think about this, man. I want to make this, you know, something quick that we're going to at least start and check me. Power is coming, you know, because he said a lot of, but he's, he tried to set a lot of snares, you know, for us and all of this, but <clears throat> it's going to come upon his own head. Let's read Psalms 119 and verse 110. It says, the wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. So he laid traps for us, you know, to being accused of our brethren, but the elect already got the victory. You see, we love, we, we do what? We err not from the precepts. Right? And so I'm in the day and I pray as edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. I want to give call line la Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Machad Dutch. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Without him, say Shalom. Wa Baba Ba. Shalom.